everyone. Lori here with Hardworking Mom. And today I wanted to show you how to make um, something I had an idea for. I've seen something similar in a store, but it was with berries and other things. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to try it out. So we're going to use two, possibly three Dollar Tree wreaths. We're gonna be using a pink and a red mesh. Okay, and then some pipe cleaners. So one, we're just going to take it and we're going to make a base. Okay, so the red is gonna be on the bottom. So I will zoom in so you can see me doing this. All right, so what I do is I will start at a crossbar and I'm going to tie my pipe cleaners around and I'm gonna slip it under that crossbar just to keep it nice and tight. So on this one, we're gonna do ruffles. So what I do is I put my first tie on, I go across, and I start on my second one. Okay, so I start on my second one and I just go over two layers. Okay, go across, and that's where I start my next one. So when you're making your own bases, You're going to go approximately four inches, and the goal is to get about ten on the bottom and about eight on the top. All right, so now I'm going to start on the top and do the same process. So we should end up with somewhere around seven or eight. ready. So now we're going to start on this one. Okay, so the idea is for Valentine's to have an X and an O. Okay, so what we're going to do for the X is we're going to take this frame and we're going to cut it right where the crossbar is. And I want to see if I need two sections or three. I have one with two sections already cut. So I want to try one with three and just see which one looks better. Okay. All right. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take these two and we're going to zip tie them together. Then we're going to tie them to the O. All right, so this is the one with three sections, which I think looks pretty good. So I think we're gonna go with the one with the three sections. It's going to make, it's going to make a large piece, but I think to keep them in proportion, we kind of need to have three on top and one on the bottom. Now you could do two, so that would be more like this without this section up here. And I think that would look great. But I think for the purposes that we want, we want to do like this. We're gonna start cutting our mesh while we're waiting on that blue. So when I want my mesh to go all the way around one frame, I will cut it in 20 inch rolls because you can get 18 20 inch rolls out of, 20 inch pieces out of one roll. So this project is gonna require two rolls. Now you could do this with a Dollar Tree mesh. You would just get a smaller width. But you actually absolutely could do it with that. All right, so we're gonna just pull it out so I load them on top of each other in my mesh roller. I pull them out, trim it off, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna measure out 20 inches and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that. Okay.
Okay, so we've gotten all of our mesh cut. So I only want to do red on the bottom. So I'll grab my red and put my pink aside. Okay, so I'm just going to do a ruffle. So I just lay it flat. I put my thumbs in the back and I use my thumbs to push forward and my fingers to put it in place. So what you're doing is you are just scrunching it together. Okay, then we'll just go to the frame, tie the mesh on, just like that. Then we'll go to our next piece and do the same thing. Go into the next tie. And what I want to do is pull these ties up so that they are ruffling together. I'm just going to keep going all the way around. Just like that. So all you have to do is pull these two mesh apart and put them together and allow them to ruffle together. Alright, so we'll start on the top. Okay, so we've gotten all of the mesh on for the bottom, and you can see it looks like an O. Okay, so now that we've gotten the round one done, we're going to work on the X part of this. So I'm going to take a Dollar Tree frame, and I'm going to cut it so that I have three sections. It's really better if you do two Dollar Tree frames this way. You can use the other frames. The other part of the frame you can use to do signs. I have a video on that. So you can actually use this leftover part to do a rail. But I want to have these edges. Okay, so I already have a second one cut. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put these back to back to make an X. However, to maintain this shape, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it in ribbon. Now there are some other things you could do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this out and we're going to cover these two. So it's very important that these stay in the same shape. So I'll load this on right here onto my <coughs> mesh roller because this is going to make it much easier for me to cover this. Okay. To start it on here, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and use a zip tie. <coughs> You can just puncture the ribbon with the zip tie and I will go right back through. Okay. And 
and I'm just going to tie this on towards the end. Now I'm going to cover this up, but this is just going to keep it, let me kind of zoom in here a little. This is just going to keep it from coming off. Okay. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and hold this edge here, and I'm going to start to wrap it. Okay. So I can hold my ribbon straight and I will wrap it by twisting my frame. This is really the easiest way to do it. You get a nice consistent wrap. Okay. And you do want to overlap it so that you can't see through to the frame. <laughs> okay. Right. And I do find that having it on the actual mesh roller makes it so much easier. All right, so we'll wrap it all the way down to the bottom, just like this, okay? I wanna have enough to overlap. Okay, and then I'm gonna trim it off. I'm gonna trim off some excess because I wanna have enough to tuck in. So what I'll do is I will put a little glue here to keep this nice and tucked in. All right, so we'll hold that until our glue is hot. And then we'll get started on this one. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm just going to take my zip tie. I'm going to puncture it right through the ribbon. And I want to go in between two layers on the frame. Just like that. Then go back up through the ribbon. I just want to make sure this is going to stay in place. Okay. And I do want it to overlap on the end. Because remember, we're going to use <coughs> we're going to use glue to just kind of tuck it in and have a nice neat look. Okay. So now I just clip this off. So this is the same way I would wrap parts. This is the same way I would wrap candy canes. Okay, so. So once I've finished off the end, I will take another zip tie and I will run it right through the end and that last little piece. So I'm going to make sure it's going to stay on here. Okay. And then this piece we will just loop over and glue right down to keep it nice and neat. So I'll just kind of put some glue right in here. Okay. And then just fold it over so that my edge is nice and neat, just like that, okay? You can also put just a little bit of glue under this edge to make sure it's gonna stay down. Okay. Just kinda hold it down. Okay, so that's one edge. All right, let's tidy up this edge. So we're just gonna fold it over and glue it right on. So I'm just going to take some glue and run it across this edge. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to fold it right up and tuck it right in, just like that. So now we have a very nice, neat C. So that's the shape you want. Okay, let's finish this one. All right, so we're at the end. 
And we want to put on our little zip tie here. So just thread it through your ribbon, tie it in. Okay, clip it off. this off a little bit okay so I want to get some glue across here glue this down okay. so we've got that down now we just want to tuck this edge over okay so we'll need just a little bit more glue for that just right in there you don't need a lot of glue okay there we go so that one's nice and neat all right and for this one we just need a little bit of glue to fix that edge okay just fold that edge over and now we have our x shape So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this together and I'm going to attach it to the other part of our project, so our round. Okay. So I'm going to flip these over right here and I want to make sure that I have them about the same. So I'll just use my mat here to make sure they're pretty even. And I'm gonna take another zip tie. I'm gonna run it right under the ribbon. Okay. And under this frame. So you wanna get it both under the ribbon and under the frame. So you can kind of pull your ribbon out just a little bit so that you can get it on the right edge. There we go. Okay. Make sure these are even. Okay, then we'll do the same thing over here. Go through here. Right through. Okay. So once I have it in place, and I make sure that it looks good, I'll go ahead and tie it off. Okay. Open up. All right, so we have our X. Okay, and you really can't see where we have it attached. So one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put ties up here to hang it. So I'm actually going to use a little bit of um, jute rope here. Okay. Let's see, I think I cut a little bit more than a yard. All right. And I'll kind of look to see which edge I think is neater I think this edge up here at the top is a little neater, so I'm going to use that edge to put my tie through. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my tools that's called a weaving needle, and it's very much like sewing. So I'm going to put that twine right in here, and I'm going to use this to go right through I see you, Bella. Right through my ribbon, underneath the frame, very important. You wanna get underneath that frame, okay? And then we can tie it off. Okay, so there will be a little piece of wire up here, but that's because that's how we're hanging it. Okay, so tie it twice. 
Okay, and then we can flip that off. All right. Okay, so we want to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. So we just place it right inside this weaving needle. So you can see these are plastic. Now you can also get metal ones. <coughs> you can also use um, quilting needles, but I tend to like these. because I like the flexibility that I get with these needles. Okay, so we have it through both sides. Okay, so we can go ahead and tie this off. You wanna tie it off well? <coughs> okay. If you're worried about it coming untied, you can put a dab of glue on it just to keep it from coming apart. Okay, so a little dab of glue. A little dab of glue. And that should keep it together. Alright, so we have we have our X. Okay, so now we're gonna attach it to our O. There we go. Alright, so this is our O. <coughs> so you just want to pick a place and we're going to attach it in to our O. What I want to do is go kind of, I want to go kind of more on top so that I can see more of my X. All right, so I'm gonna take a zip tie. I'm gonna go right through my O. Okay, if you're having any trouble, you can puncture a hole with your weaving needle. You can also use an awl. It's because there's a thick layer right here. You just want to get underneath that frame because you want the frame actually we could go right at the bottom let's just do that okay so we're going to attach it by putting a zip tie right through the bottom you can use your weaving needle to make a little hole just kind of makes it a little easier to get this Zip tie through. You want to get it under the frame. Just like that. Alright, I am using a heavier duty zip tie on this one. Alright, so let's do the other side and then we'll attach it. Okay, so right here. See, I can feel the frame right in here, so I'm going to go right at the bottom. Pumps you right through. Okay, and then I can put my zip tie in. We're going to take that leftover piece that we had and we're going to cut off most of the edges. So this is going to end up taking about three Dollar Tree frames. is I'm going to attach this little piece of this frame onto this frame with some black zip ties. So a few in here. Okay. Right inside. All this is going to do is give us an extra edge that we can tie onto. 
so that we won't get buried in our wreath. Okay. There we go. Oh, let's do one more in the middle here. Now we have an edge that's coming above where our ruffles are, but you can't see it. And what that does is that allows us to zip tie this in place without losing the X. Okay? So just that little bit of extra will help us not lose the shape of our X. Okay, so from the back you can see, okay, here's that extra piece we put in to tie this X to. Okay, now we can cut this off. All right, and our ruffles will cover that little extra edge, but it will not be over our X. Now, when you hang it up on the wall, the X will be fine, but you can tie it together in a couple more places just to keep it a little bit more secure. Okay, now we're gonna make a bow, and we're gonna put our bow at the top. Okay, so now we'll do a bow. Okay, so I'll just use some red with white polka dots and some pink with white polka dots. I have some red or white with red swirls. I have this pretty pink with red. I also have a Valentine's ribbon. So, we can do our tails about 16 inches. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put it in the bow maker. Twist in the center. I'm going to go out to six inches and the same on the other side so I can use the measurements on the board to get to my six inches. Okay. All right. So six inches again. All right. And we'll do one more with six inches. Pull our ribbon out front and cut it off. All right, so we have three at six inches. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them apart. All right, and I'm gonna do the pink with the white dots, and we will do two of this both at six inches. Right. We do twist it in the middle except for that last one because you don't need to twist it because you're just going to pull it out and trim it off. Okay. I like to do dovetails just to give it a nice little look 
So you just fold it in half and cut towards the wired edge. Okay. I like to go ahead and start moving my ribbon before I get it off my board. It will save you time when you're fluffing. Alrighty. Now I'm going to come in with this white with the little swirls in it. Okay. Alright, so we do six inches with this as well. Okay. We only need one loop with this. And then we're going to do our bright pink with the red. Give it a little pop. We're going to do two with this one. Just a little bit smaller. So probably about five and a half. And what you can do is either move your ribbons or pull them up in the center to measure them. two of these. Right. Then we'll finish off with our Valentine's. Okay, so this Valentine's has writing on it. So what I want to do is twist in the center. Okay, come across. I want the same measurement as the one before it. So just like that. And pull it out, trim it off. Now here's the trick. So up here you'll see one is going in one direction, one's going in the other. What you do is you pick the whole thing up and twist it just like that and then they're both going in the same direction. You can do this in your hand or you can do this on the bow maker. All right, then we're going to take another zip tie Get our bow started. Okay, pull it out. Okay, and then we can see where the indention is. So we just want to move it around and then pull everything out front. I just kind of move everything to make sure everything looks good before I completely tighten it. I'm also going to take another zip tie, run it through the back. So this is what we're going to use to tie on to that hanger. All right, so I've tightened it completely. Let's just leave that on. So you can leave the zip tie on while you fluff it. So you want to pull and twist to get the most out of the bow that you can. Okay. And you can move them in place as you're pulling and twisting. You want to start from the bottom and work your way to the top. There we go. So now we have a really nice bow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this zip tie so that we can't see it. So I'll cut off a piece of the red with the writing and I will fold it into a smaller piece. And I will just tie it around the bow. And we can snip that off now. This is also a great way to add your tie on if you forget to do it before you have tightened your bow. Okay, so now we can take this. So you see how it's nice and neat in there? Okay, so now we're gonna add this onto our hanger. Okay. 
So what I want to do is come out about an inch or two to allow for an actual hanger. And I'm going to take this zip tie and I'm going to tighten it around my Jeep. Okay. Okay. There we go. So now we have a tie behind the bow. All right. Okay, so all we're gonna do now is just fluff up our ribbons a little bit and then that's it, we'll be done. Okay. So we just curl them at an angle and pull them out. So just straight up. You can just pull them straight up and then pull it down. All right, and there it is. There's our hanger. So I can put it back a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Now I made mine long, but you don't have to do it. You wouldn't have to do it this long. You could make ties much shorter and have it up like this. You could also put the bow in the center and you could put the hanger there as well. Either way, it's up to you. Now this part will kind of come in until you set it against the wall and it's flat. But it will flatten out once you put it on the wall. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed this. So if you did, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when I will be live or putting up content next, okay? Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this gives you ideas, okay? Bye, y'all.